So Angular component controls a patch of screen called a view. What do I mean by screen or view? So each Angular component controls a specific part of the view screen. Let's take an example. Here we have stock application. I have a stocks component. And inside this stocks component, I have a data grid component. And inside the data grid component, we have data grid row component. And inside the data grid row component, we have data grid cell component. You can also create a component for the button. We, we have created the component for buy button. So you can think in the components. You can divide your application screen into the multiple components. So why do we need component? So you can reuse the piece of code in the form of component. Let's say if you want to reuse, let's say we have a 10,000 rows. I don't want to create a separate elements of for 10,000 rows. Why don't we have a one single component? Then I will reuse this component for 10,000 rows. So that is the whole idea of component. Component is used to reuse the piece of code like HTML and some specific business logic. Let's take an example from our content management system. Let's say you are building a blog. We have a post list component. Here we have post item. And I also have another post item component. And I have another post item component. And then you can create a separate component for post details. Post detail components will display the post title and post description in the detail form. Like you will display content of the post in this component. So that is why we need a component. Did you see that we have created the, we have rendered three components, three times post item component. Now you can render post item multiple times.